So you probably know that the move brush in ZBrush can take a given object, if I select this by alt tapping on it on the viewport, uh, I can move this left or right on the screen or up or down. But what happens if I want to move it forward or backwards? I can hold down alt and then I can actually push this forwards or backwards without actually having to go to another side of the, another angle basically and then push it this way. So here I can be looking forward on my object and just move it forwards or backwards. But if I have several objects here, I may just want to move one. So there's a temptation if I press Shift F, if these all have one polygroup and these all have one polygroup, that I'll use the move topological, so B, M and T. And that will take a given polygroup and only move that one. So now I can hold down Alt and I can push this one forwards or backwards. But what that's not doing is taking these other parts of this brush, of this object, even though they have the same polygroup. It's going to take any given object that's not welded to another one. So if I want to fix that, all I have to do is go back to my move brush, BMV, and instead I'll go to brush, and here under auto masking, you can see there's a mask by polygroups. So if I turn that up to 100%, now I can just use alt, and then just move this polygroup or that polygroup and all of the objects associated with that, even if they're not welded. So this is great for when you just want to move some stuff around and stack layers of clothing on top of each other or push some stuff back and push other stuff forward. Uh, it's a really handy way to use your move brush. So as usual, hope this tip helps and do let me know if you have any suggestions for other tutorials. And don't forget to click like and subscribe and all that stuff. All right, cheers, bye.